here we go again with living with mangoes. I'm Juan Carlos, the school teacher. My son Francisco is on the phone. Say hi, Francisco. Hello. Here we are in front of the Cogs Hall or Cogshaw mango. And take a look at these little mangoes. This tree only has a few little mangoes, but if you come down a little bit, you see these little mangoes hanging out here. The Cogs Hall mango is supposed to grow at least this large. So we'll see if it doesn't uh, drop off the tree. So we'll get ready to try and taste test this mango. Let's see how the Cogs Hall mango tastes. See you soon. Hello everyone and welcome back to Living With Mangoes. Mangoes. Today we are going to talk about this beautiful mango called the Cogs Hall mango. Some people say Cogs Shaw, some people say Cogs Hall. Um, it is said that they did some research on the actual name and it has a little bit of a longer name. We're not gonna get into all that. The Cogs Hall mango is said to be most likely a Hayden seedling. So Hayden will be most likely the parent of this mango. It is a good tree for people with small backyards due to its complete um, compact growth habit. So it stays pretty small and if you trim it nicely, it'll stay even more compact. Um, the fruit are oval and oblong in shape, as you can see, they're long. They're medium size. They develop, they develop a small pinkish to red hue on it and usually a yellow background. The flesh is said to be soft with very little fiber and it's uh, floral. It's in the classic group, uh, classic group uh, taste. It's, it's also said to have stone fruit flavors, but we're gonna find out about that. It is fairly sweet and it's supposed to be uh, very low in fiber, but we will see. Mm. We will see if it's low in fiber. Uh, the main thing about this mango is once you take it off the tree, it ripens very quickly. So you got to eat it very quickly because then it becomes mushy. Um, it can become overripe quickly and it has a monoembryonic seed. So with that, let's take a look at how this mango smells, tastes. I have two different uh, mangoes at two different ripeness stages. So we're going to find out if a little firmer is better or a little softer is better and how does the taste actually vary from one stage to the next. So, smell that, tell me if it has any type of strong smell at all, if you pick up any type of scents. It smells a little bit floral, but not nothing. A little floral, strong. not overwhelming, right? Yeah, it doesn't have a very overwhelming smell at all. Yeah, it's just a little, a little floral smell coming out of the skin. It, it's not like the Excalibur, that I smelled the Excalibur from a couple of feet away. The Excalibur had a good, strong floral smell. Mm -hmm. But the Cogs Hall is just has a slight tinge of flowery smell. All right, so we're going to start with the softer, more ripe one, and then we're going to go into the firmer one. So let's see how this cuts. It's a smooth cut. Look at that. It looks beautiful inside. Look at that. Look at all that juice. Beautiful looking mango inside. I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna smell this. Woo! Yeah, okay, smell that. Tell me, tell me what you pick up on there. It's a mix of fruits. I think I get a little bit of orange though. A little bit of orange. So citrusy? Yeah. Yeah, it smells a lot more pungent. S stronger, more pungent. You know, it has that smell of when you leave milk outside of the fridge for a little bit and you smell it. It has that, that pungent milky mm -hmm. smell, right? Mm -hmm. It has that smell. Let's, let's see how it tastes, because sometimes smells could be deceiving, and when you put it in your mouth, you're like, holy crap, what is this? So, let's see what this tastes like. Everyone grab a piece. All right, smell test first, and then you try to peel it. Let's see the peel test on this. The skin is very tight to the actual flesh, so it's not an easy peel. It's not an easy peel at all, as you can see. It has a strong fruity smell, also kind of apricot -y. 
and a little bit of the papaya smell as well. Yeah. I can pick mm -hmm. up a light papaya smell. All right, guys, chow down. Let's see how it tastes. What do you pick up? Is it similar to the Excalibur or is it completely different? It's definitely different from the Excalibur. It's different. Not as citrusy, I would say. Okay. Is it like sweet? Do you taste any other types of fruit flavors in there? I would say it's a bit sweeter than the Excalibur as well, in my opinion. Yeah, it's yeah it has it has more bricks than the Excalibur. I would say about eight. So it's much, it's much sweeter than Excalibur. The skin is edible. Yeah. I, I could easily eat the skin, no problem. It doesn't have any uh, turpentine taste. Um, actually, you could eat the skin with the mango and everything. It's delicious. It does have different fruity tastes. So it does have a little bit of apricot. It, you could taste a little bit of papaya. I was looking for a little resinous, but I don't taste much resinous uh, flavors in here. I was also looking for, some people say that I have a friend, Gwendolyn and Yasamin, and they say that they pick up uh, a condensed milk flavor to this one. This one, I let it go ripe, very ripe. So I, I really, I'm not tasting that. Do you taste any condensed milk flavor on this uh, Cog's Hall mango? Not really. Um, I don't know why, but like I feel like after I swallowed it, I kind of get this like popcorn kind of flavor in my mouth. I don't know, it tastes like what popcorn smells like. It tastes like what popcorn smells like. That's an interesting take. What do you get out of this, John Carlo? It definitely, it has a different sort of aftertaste. I can't put my finger on it, but it definitely feels and tastes different going down than when it's actually in your mouth. Okay, all right, there we go. Now let's try the firmer one. Maybe the firmer, the firmer one, uh, variety has, uh, the firmer one has a different taste to it. Because they say that the taste does vary depending on the stage. So let's see if this Cogswell mango has a different taste here. It's easy, smooth cut. Oh, the flesh inside looks a little different on this one. This flesh looks more yellowy. Look at that. Yellowy, yellowy flesh. And look, this one looks more orangey. And it's the same variety. That's very interesting. Oh, and this one smells a little different as well, for sure. This one, I could pick up that condensed uh, milk smell. Smell that. Oh, yeah. This is completely different smell as well. Yeah. So it has a different look, and it also has a different smell. I think I'm going to enjoy this one a little better, just based on the smell and everything. Let's find out what this tastes like. All right, guys. Back to the drawing board. Let's see how this one peels. It's a, a better peel. It's still very tight to the skin, as you can see. It's still very tight to the skin, but it is a better peel at this stage. And look at the stage. Look at this, how this looks. You see that? It's like yellow with some little green tones and some uh, pink or reddish tones on it. It's a beautiful looking mango. Now, how does it taste, guys? It definitely has different tones on it, huh? Mm -hmm. It it's has more citrus. It has citrusy tones, like orangey, right? Like more like yeah. orange tones. How's the skin? The skin is still just as edible. Yeah. Not much difference on the skin. At this stage, the skin feels a little, um, has a slight little tarty taste, but not really that much at this stage. What else do you pick up on the taste? I was suspecting due to the different coloring of the flesh that it would be a bit more on the sour side, just a hair. And with actually tasting it now, I can see that that's true. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like sweeter. Mm -hmm. I say sweeter. It's sweeter with a little, uh, little sour um, touches or tones. Uh, here you can see that it does have a little bit of fiber. It does have a little bit of fiber close to the flesh. Now they say that when you, 
um, put your teeth and you start pulling on the flesh with your teeth that you start picking up more of that condensed milk flavor. Let me see if that's true. I tasted the condensed milk flavor mostly on the flesh, not on the skin. On the skin, the closer you get to the skin, the more um, orangey it tastes, right? Mm -hmm. Like more citrusy. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it tastes a bit more sour near the skin. Mm -hmm. Is there any other information that you may want to add for the viewers of what other tones you might be able to pick up on here? Um, mm. It's a decent mango. I would say more of the towards a classic flavor. Yeah, there, I, I, I would buy the fact that it, it seems to be a, a Hayden seedling. It does have that Hayden touch. All right, guys. So that's the Cogs Hall, Cogshaw Mango at two different ripeness levels. So now let's let's grade. Let's grade the first one. The first one. One being the least, 10 being the greatest. One Tommy Atkins, two can three kit. Top nine and ten, sugar loaf and orange sherbet. So, what would you give the riper one? What would you give them? I would give that one like a six. He says a six. Yeah, like a six. What do you think, John Carlos? I was gonna give them about six and a half to seven, maybe. Okay, six and a half. I would give this one a five. The riper one, five. It's a decent mango. Um, I would definitely eat it, but I think this one at this level. At this level of ripeness, had a little more flavor, had a little bit of the condensed milk touch to it. It's a firmer mango to the palate. It's, uh, it has good citrus tones. The seed to uh, flesh ratio is very good. I would say the seed 20%, the flesh about 80%. Um, it's not an easy peel though. Um, so what do you guys think you would give this Cogs Hall mango? I would give that one like a six and a half to a seven. Six and a half, seven. So you went up half a point to maybe a full point. What do you think? Yeah, I'm a strong seven on that one. A seven on this one. I would say this one's also about a seven. It's a good mango. Um, it's said to be a, a good producer. It's uh, compact, so it's good for any small yards. So with that, I'm Juan Carlos, the school teacher. This is my son, Francisco, and John Carlos. And with that, we are out. Peace. Living with mangoes. mangoes.